Hey. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You doing good? Everything good? How's the baby? You good? Yeah, it's big. Big? Big. Very big. Okay. Are you ready? Hello there. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Robbie. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, Still the beard, but not like the epic Spartan. Beard. Yeah, I shaved it. For, it just, because I was back home for a while, it just became like a way to spark up a conversation. <laughs> so I was like, mm. no conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Let's cut this off now. What's up, Robbie? How are you? Oh, man, how you doing? Very good. Every once in a while, it tastes like a cheese in here. Is there cheese in here? I don't see it. The cheese is in there. They've got shredded cheese in there. Okay. Bits and pieces. Yep. You're right. Where's that cheese coming from? Where's BJ training at? Oahu. No, he, he moved his camp. He's kind of taking the reins. That's a big island, isn't it? No. Oahu. That's Waikiki. Honolulu. Like, Waikiki. It's actually close to Waikiki. I know he's got uh, So I fly into Waikiki then? Yeah, Honolulu. And he'd stay there. So there's a lot more to do there than Hilo. So. Yeah. Is that why he's doing that? Hilo's it? nicer, though. Um, yeah, he's got a new outlook. On training and what, can, you, can you fill me in real quick? Uh, he wants to, you know, he just wants to be happy in town. <laughs> Where did he train for me? Oahu. So <laughs> that was the I mean, first time he trained there, right? So it's hard to argue with him after the last fight. I wish it went a little longer. Nobody more than me. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and our Strike Force middleweight world title. Please welcome the challenger. His knockouts are subject of numerous highlight films. The former world champion, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. <laughs> Took you so long, or was it something like, oh my God? I better do this now or I'm never going to do it. Well, to be honest, I was building a business. I have a food company. Um, I don't know if you all know that, but you need to write that up. I have a chicken company. <laughs> I sell to Cisco. Uh, it's the largest minority-owned chicken company in the United States, and, uh, and I have over 600 employees. And so y'all need to write, I'm serious, you need to write that down so people can buy chicken from it. Robbie, I know nothing uh, excites you more than talking about fighting, so talk to me a little bit about this fight Saturday night. What do you think, how do you feel? I feel good, uh, Jock Ray's an awesome fighter, he's a big fighter, he's an athletic fighter, he's, he's a total package and he comes to fight and so do I. Well, I'll see you guys out here. Cool. Hey, take care, Nate. All right. Yeah. When are you fighting again? April 30th. Uh, uh, Rory McDonald. He, he's a young guy. He fought Condit. Are you fighting at 70? 70, yeah. He fought Condit a little while back in, in the UC in Canada. And he, he was working Condit real good. But then he lost at like the last 30 seconds. Yeah, like the last 20 seconds. Did he get hit with a knee or something? Uh, I think he was getting caught with a lot of shots right there at the end when he started slowing down. How you doing, sir? Good, buddy. How you doing? Good. Toronto? Toronto, yeah. When Jake fights. Uh, GSP same, same time. That's nice. For some reason, I thought he was a little taller. I just feel like he's gonna try to be fierce. Yeah. And I'm gonna be fierce, and he's gonna make me kick it up to another level. That's gonna be nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what matters. Well, because I want to be ready to go right away, and then he's gonna be ready to go. Yeah. And I'm gonna be like, all right.
and make this world. There's Magnum. Magnum. Don't mess with Magnum. Not mess with Magnum. So this is just for the broadcast edge shot first, so just look right cool. at me. What's up, Pat? Hey, you yeah, good, man? I went uh, back down to uh, oh. Arizona the next day after I worked with you. Watch it. What? What? Arizona the next day after I worked with you one day. Don't, don't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> that good? Look at that. I'm going to stay back, sit back here to you. You son of a bitch. What? Go ahead. Go back to your side. <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah, you glasses on, are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> and who is that uh, where I guess um, Simpson, Dalloway, and Bader have set up shop? Yep. And you were those your training partners or sparring yeah, partners? Yeah, some of them. Yeah. As a coaching guys or whatever, what do you feel he's gotten better even since? I mean, it's only been how many weeks now since the last time? What's uh, what's he been doing? Yeah. Very well in training. I definitely think he's gotten better. He's got a, a bigger set of bodies to, to get used to throwing around. Whereas, I mean, his squats are eight for, mm -hmm. you know, guys from 55 to 70 out there. It's, so you went to work with the bigger bodies is why he you has, went to he had a chance of, to, In the wrestling, he's been in wrestling, wrestling. For sure. Tons of good wrestling. But yeah, nice. I told him two things before the Lindman fight. Make Matt step as forward as much as Robbie does. Sometimes Robbie wants to stalk people. Sure. And I said, stay off the fence, and those would be the only two things I really tell him this time. Well, that's it. You gonna start off hitting first? Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna do very much grappling. Drill some stuff. Zombie dot. Some light grappling technique stuff. Get those abs ready. Yeah, the Dars. It's not a Dars. It was straight like a guillotine, but I didn't lock it up like a guillotine. I just.